When you're an alpha yet humble like Nikola Jokic, everyone else from superstar to role player falls in line. Having a number two option with the balance offensively that Jamal Murray's equipped with helped Joker carry the scoring load. With that said, for buying into the system and executing around Joker as well as they did, options 3, 4, and 5, Aaron Gordon, Michael Porter Jr., and Contavious Caldwell-Pope deserve more credit. The Nuggets wouldn't have got to the finals, let alone won it all without them, including the latter in KCP, who in the conference finals against his former team, averaged 15 points while taking 6.8 threes on average over four games, and made a blistering 44.4% of them. If you saw my last vid, you learn that among 948 two-man lineups with at least 200 minutes played in the 2023 playoffs, Joker and AG were number one in offensive rating, but number two on that list was AG and MPJ. So for as much flack as Porter got for his shooting woes, the advanced stats display he was top-notch. Aside from merely the Joker and Blue Arrow, stay tuned for every reason for why the Denver Nuggets championship run was smooth sailing. Just 20.3% of you watching right now are subscribed, so please subscribe. To open up Denver's first NBA title run in 47 years of existence, in quarter number one of game one of round one, perennial dunk contest runner-up Aaron Gordon foreshadowed the Nuggets' 2023 playoff dominance. Sneaking up behind Carl Anthony Towns for the knockaway, AG proceeds to gather the steal, take it across the timeline. Momentum cross left on Mike Conley, legally put his shoulder down to gain leverage, knocking Conley over, using that leverage to spin back right, and taking advantage of the momentum gained by posterizing the slow to rotate Anthony Edwards. In terms of his work moving off the ball, this horn's empty lob action where he receives the UCLA screen from Murray and throws down the reverse defines how good of a cutter Gordon was. It's incredibly hard to imagine where Denver would be without Aaron's world-class athleticism and basketball IQ. You rarely hear Aaron be the primary topic of conversation when it comes to the Nuggets championship, but the man deserves more respect. Aaron was damn consistent, really all throughout the four rounds, but specifically in the finals, where in five games against Miami, two of which where the final score was within five points, he gave Jokic, Murray, and Malone a crucial 14 points, 7.5 rebounds, and 3 assists per game, all while turning the ball over just 3 times in 179 finals minutes. He was such an important piece to the puzzle, whether it was bailing out the offense by catching lobs in the dunker spot, creating shots from the post or the perimeter on occasion, knocking down triples when he needed to which kept the floor spaced, or locking up the perimeter with clamping pressure defensively. Many overlook the fact that Gordon was this Denver team's most valuable perimeter stopper, while having to guard the likes of Anthony Edwards, Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, LeBron James, and Jimmy Butler. Despite being tasked with that responsibility, he was number two among all players in playoff defensive rating. In terms of his offensive efficiency, AG hasn't received nearly enough praise from Nuggets Nation for shooting over 60% from the field and 55% from three-point range in the finals. A bit earlier, you saw Gordon's round one, game one, quarter one poster, but a player who also set the tone in that playoff opener was Michael Porter. Porter had several posters in the opening half of that game. First, he cut back door on Jalen Noel, forcing Rudy Gobert to make a business decision. Less than two minutes later, again catching a pass from Murray, this time after Blue Arrow collapsed the defense, Porter springed right up over Torian Prince for a one-handed hammer. One of Porter's clutchest moments of the playoffs came a game later, which bailed the Nuggets out when they were down two early in the fourth quarter. This altered cross decoy set, a play type which we looked at last video, is supposed to have in this case Jeff Green pop out to the top of the arc to get the swing pass after setting the screen for KCP. Green instead opts to set a flare for MPJ, who unhesitantly curls out to the top of the arc and earns a four-point play opportunity after getting fouled by Prince and hitting a fadeaway triple in traffic. That was Porter's second four-point play in as many games against Minnesota, as he also broke the hearts of Wolves fans with another one in the face of Anthony Edwards a game before that. A few tone-setting plays from Porter also took place in the next round, where in Game 1, this time against Phoenix, he bulldozes through Duran and Akogi off the dribble for a coast-to-coast -coast poster. Then, he clamped up Devin Booker to force a turnover, which led to a run-out dunk for Gordon. Porter's two most iconic plays were his baptization of Kevin Durant in Round 2, and his crowded between the legs and through two defenders fast break finish in Game 5 of the Finals. Also in Game 5 of the Finals, with the game knotted at 66 in the late third quarter, after securing the rebound, you can't forget about Michael's prime Carmelo Anthony-esque clutch pull-up triple from the left wing, 
In that championship ceiling win, where Porter scored a team's second best 16, he also had a nasty left-handed dunk after flying past Struess on the perimeter. The matchup MPJ will be remembered for in the 2023 playoffs was round one. In a series where four out of the five games against Minnesota were within single digits, he attempted an average of 6.6 .6 triples per night and made 42.4% of them. In both that series against the Wolves and in the conference finals against Los Angeles, Michael averaged 15 plus points on over 42% shooting from deep range. In terms of the series against Los Angeles, as I mentioned in the intro, KCP's averages display this man went off against his former team. First of all though, we can't dismiss how Contavious grinded out 76 games for the Nuggets during the regular season and averaged a team third most 31.3 minutes in each of them. One of Denver's most important defenders, Caldwell Pope led the Nuggets in steals per night during the 82 game grind. One of Denver's most important defenders, Caldwell Pope led the Nuggets in steals per night during the 82 game grind. Not too long ago, this man was getting yelled at by LeBron to take more three-pointers. In Denver, Contavious proved he himself could be a vocal leader on a championship team. Showing LeBron that firsthand, Pope poured in 21 points in the opening game of the conference finals, which combined with Jokic and Murray for 86 of Denver's 132 on the night. You think of him as merely a spot-up shooter, but on moves like this one against Austin Reeves, Contavious showed off swift body language and decisiveness creating shots on the move. On the other end, watch the passing lane anticipation to pick off the D'Lo outlet, then the bounce to save it from going out of bounds. KCP's one-on-one -on -one defense is displayed right here, as he reads that Hachimura is about to try and body him out of the way and step back before it happens, so he winds up his swipe before that move takes place to knock it away. Directing traffic offensively, Contavious motions to Jokic to keep back and down to draw the double team. Jokic does just that, but it's Pope's perfectly timed up and executed diagonal cut after that double team which gets the bucket. Back to his passing lane anticipation as he picks off this lazy kickout attempt from Schroeder and gets a hockey assist to Porter Jr. Next, Caldwell gathers the Porter block and gets a rebound and assist all in one after handling it through traffic and finding Porter in the corner for the spot up. Another backdoor cut right here where KCP catches D'Lo sleeping. Another off the dribble attack sees KCP take it right at D'Lo and drain a one legged runner over the top of him. Handoff action with Jokic gets Caldwell Pope to switch on to Davis, who he's not phased by. He's far from done though as he spots up Intruder's grill off a Jokic kickout. Utilizes a flare from Jeff Green out of this sideline out of bounds screen the screener action to spring up for another spot up. Plays hot potato with Jokic to get Reeves off him the slightest bit for the triple. Then gets Reeves to fly by him on his next received Jokic kick out and floats it over Davis at the basket. Performances like that one from Contavious to help win Jokic and Murray playoff games happened all throughout the run. Denver went 16-4 to win the chip but one of those losses was in overtime, one of them came by just 3 points, one of them came by just 5 points, and the other came by just 7. This was easily one of the most dominant playoff runs in history, this was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.